Hey guys, it's me, and today I'm bringing you guys a review on probably the best booster pack, in my opinion, of the Ninjago line, which is Zane ZX booster pack. Um, this booster pack, this booster pack comes with one pack of cards, two weapons. The stick doesn't count. Um, some spinner accessories and uh, some interesting extra pieces. So, uh. Let's get into the review. First, I'll show you guys the packaging. If you guys want to see how everything came in with the figure and all that stuff in, then you guys can go to my alternate channel, and there's where I'll be showing everything that I got that I thought was interesting or things like that, updates and things like that. So don't forget to check that out. Um, also comes with the instruction manual slash game manual because it shows you how to play the game which is pretty useful for people that want to play the game I'm not going to go into detail of that because I don't think that's very interesting um, uh, so here is the pack of cards I don't know anything about the cards because I think I've said this a million times but I do not play this game and yeah so I'm pretty sure that this is a player card I'm just going to read the rest because I don't know what they mean. So, Black Ice Shield, Stroke of Genius, Crown of Ice, and Counter Attack. Um, so, yeah, it's five cards. Pretty much five cards come in every booster pack. So, uh, now let's go into the accessories for the spinner. Um, they're pretty interesting always like transparent and translucent pieces so these are pretty useful pieces you get two of those so yeah that's it's pretty cool and you get these pieces that go on the bottom of the spinner so a minifigure can hold it and uh, yeah you can make some custom weapons with that pretty useful pieces um, came with some extra pieces too uh... this gray piece Oops, sorry about that guys um, i'm not sure if this is an extra piece but i don't know what this is for so and yeah so i'll just count that as an extra piece you get this uh... slanted transparent piece um, gold stud Hard to see, but it's just a gold stud. So, and an extra ninja star, which is pretty cool. I haven't had ninja stars, so if you don't have ninja stars, then this is pretty much the set to get to get those uh, ninja stars. So let's go and see the weapons. We'll just look at the crappy stick first and just put that away. Nobody wants to see that. It's a horrible sight. Um, so here is the gold weapon. Uh, it's a pretty nice weapon mainly because it has a lot of gold pieces and gold piece gold pieces are very rare so there you go you get uh, three ninja stars in this set which is very nice um, so there it is just a tooth a stick chain and the ninja stars put together and it, you get this so yeah that's a pretty nice weapon and this is also a pretty cool weapon I've never seen this before. I've never seen Lego make this weapon before. Um, I think it's really nice. I think it was a good idea. So, you also get a cool blue diamond. A light blue, sort of darkish blue diamond. Which I don't think they've made it before. Or they have made it, but probably a long time ago. But it's a nice color, so... If you collect diamonds or something, you need a diamond. This is also a good set. Uh, this booster pack probably comes with the most awesome weapons. And probably my favorite part of this set, the Zane ZX. So, they all come with the new armor pieces. This one has is gold. So I'll take that off in a minute. And he also has this gold little thing on the top of his mask. And as always, they have the same face. 
So nothing different about the face. Um, now we'll take the armor piece off so you can look at the back printing. So here's the armor piece. It's all one piece, so if you've never seen one. So um, here is the body, which is really nice. I like it a lot. Um, it even goes into his legs, which is pretty cool. And there's the back with the strap and um, Zane's ninja symbol. I'm not sure what it is, but it's pretty cool. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it, guys, for this review. Uh, I forgot to mention in the beginning of this video that this cost me... Four ninety nine at uh, Sears Grand, so yep, that's pretty much the least place I was expecting to see it, but it was there. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching.